Hello, hello, and welcome to another Albion E video. This time it's going to be a mini series where I'm going to try and go from zero to premium. So basically, starting from a fresh character, no spec, nothing. We're going to try and spec up a weapon, and um, and, you, and there's, there's a bunch of different methods in order to get like premium. You could just do like transporting. You could do like uh, just mist. You could do only corrupted dungeons. And this time, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing corrupted dungeons with a, a weapon I would think is pretty mid tier. Especially at the, um, like, you know, like in 4, that is uh, the Spears. So I don't think Spears are that good, but they're also, like, if you play it correctly, you can win fights. So that's where we're going to be doing today. I'm going to level up a character from scratch and then go through all the tutorial island. We're not going to be doing any gathering. Uh, our main method for getting our fame up, which uh, you could consider that experience. And each, you don't, like, level up your hero like a normal, like, RPG, which... Everything you, uh, all the fame you get goes towards each piece of gear you have, so you get better at using those pieces of gear. And, uh, that's a simple explanation for it as well, and, like, each each piece of gear, uh, changes what you can do. Like, each piece of gear has, like, unique abilities attached to it. And, um, yeah, you can only use one of those, like, you know, there's a bunch of passives and all that, but you'll, you'll probably see that later when in, in the game. I'm not gonna try and explain too much right now, because right now it's just, uh, the, you know, the introduction to the the uh, basically zero zero to premium corrupted spear corrupted edition thingy, I might do some other variations of this challenge, or might even try other weapons. But for now, we're going to be trying some spear. So first things first, we got to go out there, get our fame up, and get our silver. Once we got a nice chunk of silver and uh, fame, I went ahead and got all my stuff upgraded to 4.1, and then I went out and decided to do some corrupted dungeons, see if we can get some uh, nice little loot drops for ourselves, get a little bit more silver up. So a, a thing you could do, like if you're not confident in the corrupteds, you can always do the hunter corrupted dungeons. And, and here, instead of losing all your gear, when you get knocked down, you're only losing durability. And um, I'll, I'll show you guys the loot I get at when I defeat my opponent. It's basically just like a little loot drop that it's not from your opponent. It's just random stuff that drops. Just so there's a little bit of reward for actually knocking people down in there, which is nice. All right, I'll let you guys observe the next three fights, and then I'll do an actual Slayer. Not Slayer, I mean Stalker, crowd the dungeon. Slayer is a bit too much. Alright, so there you have it. As you can see, the rewards for doing the Hunter is not that crazy. You know, it's just a little bit. Like, it's a little bit of a PvP experience as well, though. I don't think many of the people in here are, you know, that good. To be fair, like, I, I messed up on my first fight. Like, I should have... I, I shouldn't have the Invis on. I should have the Reflect. The Fredo Shield, I mean. And, um, yeah. I was just kind of, like, goofing around because I wasn't expecting much out of this. So, it's not the best 
for actually trying out builds for the Stalker. I think it's better to just go with Stalker with cheap builds and just kind of see what you get in there with. So that's what we're going to do. We upgraded all of our stuff to 4.2 because you need to have at least 900 item power to even get into the Stalker. So yeah, we had to upgrade our gear to, to 0 0.2 to just to be able to get in there and we'll see how well it goes. And there you go. That's what happens. This guy was definitely not a new player. I checked his uh, stats afterward, and he had like what seventy million. And he was using it. He was abusing the line of sight, so I couldn't auto him because there was a pillar in, in, in between us, and he was still able to cast spells on me. So, yeah, that was uh, kind of a shitty thing to do. But uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm not gonna sit here and complain too much about it. You know, shit happens. We're just gonna have to gear up. Do some uh, solo dungeons or something. I'll probably do some like uh, black zone solo dungeons and try to get my uh, silver back up there, and then you know we'll try again. So in the next video, uh, hopefully our luck is a bit better. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.